WeWeb is the fastest way to build custom frontends over your own data. Let's take this example. It's a basic feature request system where users can submit features they want in our app. Everything is stored in Airtable and it's using Auth0 as an authentication system. Let me showcase it to you real quick. First, I will log in. Then I land on this page with all the tickets currently inside my Airtable base. I can even write a new one. Also, I have the upvotes. I can upvote tickets, the number of comments, and I can even click on every ticket to get their detail page. On the detail page, I get the upvoters and also the comments that are part of this ticket. When I build this, let's continue. Okay, so here I am in the WeWeb Canva. First thing to do would be to add some tickets here. Hopefully, I have this already available in my design library, so I will drag and drop one and copy paste three times. Okay, so now I have my tickets, but now I want to add them from an external database like Airtable. So this base has four tickets with the title, description, user, everything that I need to display on the Wii website. So I already added Airtable as a plugin and I will add a new collection of data called tickets. This data is coming from Airtable and I will use the cached mode. Then I will select my Airtable base, my Airtable table, here tickets and the grid view. Then it continue. Now I can paginate, filter and sort my data. Maybe I will sort them by upvotes. So sort, add sort, number of upvotes, descending, seven tests. That's it. Now I can hit done and the collection was successfully added to WeWeb. Now I want to repeat all these tickets for all the tickets I have in my Airtable base. To do this, let's open the navigator, pin it, and go on the tickets list. Then here on the right, you can see that items has the text element to repeat. So I will bind it to an expression, which is the list of my tickets. As you see, we were repeated every children in the corner for every ticket there is in my collection. Let's close the navigator. And now I can bind every field in my uh, records to each ticket in the WeWeb app. For example, add fancy JS libraries. I go on the right, text, bind it, expression, title. And voila, all the titles are not bound. I can do the same for the description. Now that I've bound all the um, columns in my tickets, I want to bind also the total of tickets currently displayed. That's a data that's not available in my backend, so I will have to do some small JavaScript in my binding. So let's click on it, click on plug, JavaScript, and use this snippet. Basically, it's returning the length of all the tickets currently in my collection. Let's close it, and you see that it's working. I have four tickets, so it's written four inside parentheses. Now let's say I want to let users search for tickets inside my app. To do this, I will go again on add and use the search bar in my design library. Now is the time to create a variable. A variable are some data that is um, stored at the session level inside the app. And I will create one that will basically encompass all the text that's currently searched by the user inside the app. So I will click on create, add variable. Call it search, give it a type of string, and use an empty string. Save. Now I want to cl click on my search bar with this blue icon. Go to the settings, specific, and unchange. I want to feed all the text entered in this input to the search variable. Then I want to go to workflows and create a new workflow. Let's call it fetch tickets. 
use the trigger on change so that it triggers every time there's a change in the input. And when there's a, there's a change in the input, I want to refetch, so fetch collection, all the tickets. Continue. And that's it. One last thing to do. I have to tell WeWeb to filter the tickets on the search variable. So I go in data, I go back to collections in my tickets collection, and I go again in sort filter and pagination. Here I will use filter. Let me display the title before. Add a condition, and I want to filter when the title contains the variable, the, the content of the variable search, or when the description contains the content inside the variable search. Let's save it and test. OK. Continue. Done. Now I can go to preview mode and search for tickets. As you see, I entered Zapier, so I have only the Zapier ticket and the total of tickets updated automatically. Now, let's say I want to let users create new tickets directly from the app. I will go to Add, drag and drop a form, and then use this form to let users create new tickets. So I will click on the form container with this green icon, go to Workflows, and create a new workflow. Let's call this workflow create ticket, trigger it on submit, so when every time the form submits, continue, and then choose a custom JavaScript action and paste it this snippet, basically telling WeWeb to get the current user to create a new record inside the tickets collection in Airtable and use the title and description of the form and also the current user. Then I can go on preview and create a new ticket. For example, Coda integration. I want to use Coda in WeWeb. And that's it. The ticket was created inside my app and also here inside my Airtable base. And that's it. We created a CRUD app in less than 10 minutes using WeWeb without any code. I mean, almost without any code. To learn more about authentication, doing detailed page, stuff like that, please onboard in the app as we'll explain it in greater details or check our help desk at help.weweb.io. See ya!